something for the bar owner. You getting something for the bar owner? Expensive case of scotch. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Thanks. So, what do you guys say? Happy hour, at my place, 6 a.m. Woo! Let's go. go. Sorry, your night got ruined. Hopefully, this makes you feel a little better. She was cute. Look at you, Jeremy Coleman, one man community outreach program. Don't say it. Okay, I don't want to hear it. Well, let's just try and give this one more than a couple weeks, all right? Well, just because you've been domesticated doesn't mean I want to be domesticated. I need you to get domesticated. We need another couple to hang out with. Ooh, another exciting night of Pictionary? No, thank you. I'm good. Pictionary, charades, and fucking boggle. You're okay. jabbering and delaying my drink, and let's get mobile. I'm right behind you. Let's do this. And we got to stop by the store, get provisions. Hey, what are you doing for Christmas? Well, what do I do every Christmas? I'm picking up a shift. We're having dinner with Maria's family, all right? You're invited. She insists. Thank you. Really? but I like working the holidays. All right, let's go. Of course. Hey, 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 grab me some. Stop. Just before you ask for whatever shit you're about to ask for, remember, 15-year-old scotch. That means it's good, Craig. I understand now, fellas. Thank you. Grab me a double bag of Funyuns. Are you Come kidding on. me? Now, if I'm not mistaken, we're about to drink this upscale booze in plastic cups in your shitty apartment at 7 in the morning. So ease up off the Somalia shit and grab me some fucking Funyuns. Oh, you're disgusting. Hey, we'll be across the street getting gas, all right? And some black licorice, Jeremy. Like my licorice, like I like my women. Don't discriminate, Jeremy. Yo, Jeremy. What's up, man? Morning, fellas. Uh you don't have to straighten up for me, Calvin. That's all right. Hey, you know, I'm playing that holiday tournament tomorrow night. You better show up this time. I'll be there. Hey, I'll be there. Uh, I promise. Hey, Pringles three-pointer, hit me. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> yeah, and that's why the college scouts look keep that. calling. And it's yes, looking sir. like a full ride now. Hell, they might even take me. <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> keep dreaming. So you've been out rescuing cats from trees? Yeah, something like that. Hey, when are you going to join up? Yeah, right. Maybe the second coming. How you doing, fellas? Help you some? Get your nose on the floor, you fucker! Settle down. Now! Okay. Don't you do nothing. Okay. Don't you come out from around the counter. Get on your knees. Right here. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Kneel down. Now, my man came in here last week. He told you I wanted your store. Now, you told him that you weren't going to give up the lease. I told him I was sorry, but. This is a good location for us. Yeah, I know. It's a good location. <laughs> Got freeways. Easy to move packages in and out. I know it. This whole neighborhood belongs to the East Side Crips. East Side Crips. Look, I have to pay them every month. I'm under their protection. So it's no disrespect to you, but that's the reason you can't do business here. If you want me to, I, I can call him for you. I, I mean, you talk to him for yourself. Look, 
I'll get my phone. Hey, put your uh, chin uh, up. I said, just get my phone. I mean, I mean, if you want, want to, you can talk to him. Nah, I like that, yeah. Yeah, get your phone. Don't fucking tempt me, I want to. Yeah. Hey, what's up, bud? My name is David Hagen. I don't care much what yours is. Listen, you're gonna go up against me, I'll kill you. I'll kill you and everyone close to you. Tell him I shot your son. Come on, Dennis. Tell him I shot your son. Come on, Dennis. Oh tell him to prove a point. I shot your son. Come It'll on. mean more if you do it. <laughs> Shit. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, Dennis! Now we're talking. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. Listen, if I want your territory, I'll take your territory. It's been nice talking to you. What about it? I don't know, genius. Figure it out. You don't want to see this. What's the charge? Murder in the first. Who caught the case? Paxson. I know. There was no evidence at the scene, but there was an eyewitness, and he's solid. He was like three feet away from Hagen. Please tell me he fucked this up. It's a slam dunk, even for him. It's done. Tell Paxson I'm taking over the case. Where are they going to get arrested? He's already in the box. Lieutenant. So, District Attorney Sharon Westlake, Harold Gathers, criminal attorney. When you see the man you saw at the store, say his number and he'll step forward and repeat one of the phrases you heard. What he claims to have heard. Number four. Number four, step forward and repeat the phrase. Number four, please step forward. Jerry, 
Thomas Cole. Oh my God. Social Security number four three four six zero five one one nine. Liz. Okay. Uh, for the record. I knew nothing about that, and what he just said does not constitute an action. Your client I'm just sorry. read. I believe my client has not been formally identified. That's him. We have a responsibility to our witness, and I don't mean procedurally. Obviously. I mean emotionally, morally. Yeah, indeed, Hagen. Jeremy needs to know who he's testifying against, and he needs to know your end of it. I'm telling you, we're gonna have to play good cop, bad cop here. All right, tell me about him. Uh, local, born and bred, parents died in a fire when he was eight. A couple of group homes, some juvie stuff. Entered the fire academy, only job he's ever had. No other family? Mm -mm. Good, makes it easier for us. See you in a minute. Hello, Jeremy, thanks for waiting. Before Detective Sella gets here, I'd like to give you some background information, okay? Okay. A few years ago, after David Hagen turned his Aryan following in San Quentin into a street crew, Detective Sella and his partner decided to go after his organization. They made cases against some of these guys. They wanted them to flip, to testify for the state. That didn't work out. Hagen killed Detective Zella's partner and his partner's wife. You gonna tell him how the DA's office gave up on the case? Stop. That had nothing to do with this case. Yeah, and neither does a half a dozen or so crimes on Hagen's rap sheet. Tell him the truth. The truth is, we can't get Hagen unless you testify. The truth is, Hagen is a sociopath. He is a stone-cold killer. He doesn't give a fuck. I will put you in witness protection. The feds will keep you safe. So my whole life just... just goes away? You have to keep your first name. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Fucking witness protection. Driver's license, Mr. Coleman. Molly, Molly, they're here. Go ahead and patch it in. One inch sit down. This is Mike Sella. Uh, hey, Lieutenant. I'm going to be seeing you soon. The judge moved the case up. We go to trial in two weeks. Oh, thank God. I gotta tell you, man, I am so ready to go home. I'll be the first to buy you a beer, the first of many. And listen, thank you. Really, thank you, man. Take care of yourself, all right? Okay. Congratulations, son. That's it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yes! you're doing 
We're U.S. Marshals, not amateurs. I know you've been sneaking out of the apartment we got you and coming to this motel. Uh, I've been... I've been seeing someone. What, you couldn't wait till you got back home to start hooking up with random girls? It, it's not like that, okay? Oh. Is she special? Yeah. Very. Now I'm curious. So tell me about her. I said, tell me about her. She's kind of a smart ass. So far, I like her. Yeah. She likes to run her mouth a lot. Hiya. Good evening. Do you have a reservation? Well, I have her. Cross fingers. <laughs> well, I'll see what I can do for you. Good golly, you got some pretty looking nails there, girl. Thank you. Some people say they match my eyes. That they do. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like you're in luck. We have vacancies. It will run you $89, which includes tax. Includes tax. Mm -hmm. right. Will it just be you by yourself? Actually, me and my buddy. Okay. One room, two beds. Not a smoking couple of nights. Yes. Farther back today. Alright, All right, go. Good. Good. Better. You're still doing one thing wrong. That's what everyone does. You're anticipating the recoil. Okay, you're expecting okay. the gun to kick up, so you're compensating by pulling down. By the time the gun kicks up, the bullet's long gone. Okay, so just forget about the recoil. It doesn't matter. Every okay. single time you pull the trigger, put your cans on. You'd be surprised by how accurate you can get. Oh, look at you. Very cute. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you're right, though. I do hesitate. It's like every time I get my target between the crosshairs, I wait a second, and then I start shaking, you know? Yeah, see, but you're not hitting the target. The gun is, so you have to trust the gun. Okay. Breathe, line up your target, and squeeze. That's all you do. Look at that. Okay, you are now officially even hotter. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Another free lesson, and you haven't taught me anything about firefighting. Give me my gun. Well, I don't have my equipment. I need a fire, of course. Come on, tell me something. I want to know, like, what's your favorite part about the job besides scoring hot chicks, of course? That's ridiculous. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> right. You know, I just love being part of that group and going through all the things that you go through just to become a fireman. And those guys are my brothers. I consider them family. So, what's it really like? I don't know. Most calls are routine. Every once in a while, you get that that call where all hell's breaking loose and you got a structure going up with people inside. To most people, it looks like a blazing monster, but I understand how it behaves, how it progresses, the airflow, ventilation, materials, flashpoints, construction styles. I know how to get in. I know how to get out. I know where I can go, I know where I can't go, things like that. But to the people inside, all they see is fire and smoke, you know, just heat, blackness. And sometimes it happens where that person who's trapped inside, they don't want to go. They panic, they freeze. Because where I need to take them seems a hell of a lot worse than the spot where they're still alive. So what do you do? I get them to focus on me. I try to get their eyes, I try to get their full attention even through the mask and the ventilator. I say the same thing every time, no matter what, because it always works. Kind of like what you taught me back there. What do you say? I say, trust me. Do everything that I ask, and I promise you'll stay alive today. I miss it. So how long do I have to be in Long Beach before I can start calling myself a California girl?
Here we go. Parking karma. More anesthetic. Where is she? Is she okay? Wounds are superficial. She's fine. I need you to have a seat. Just have a seat and listen. Three days ago, a case manager at Witsec headquarters in D.C. was killed. It looked like a mugging. You know, he took his watch, took his wedding ring, wallet, cash. But as it turns out, four hours before he died, he accessed your file. So they paid him for your location, and then they killed him to tie it up. My son, this will never happen again. 
Access to your records will be restricted to the executive office of WITSEC. All your communications will be double blind, full black box. Smith, these were found in the shooter's van. I'm not judging anybody, not tonight. I mean, you're only human. But why do you think they went after the both of you? Hell, you're the witness. Why not go after you alone? Because you cared for her. Well, the safest thing for both of you is to be nowhere near one another. No. No, you need to let me be with her. I need to make sure that she's safe. No, she is safe. How do you know she's going to be safe? She is safe. She's under God, and wherever she's going, she's, she's going to be... She's going with me, God damn it. I need to see her. Marshall Durham is on a plane and in the air. Hell, I don't even know where it's headed. And that's for her safety and for yours. What do you mean, she's gone? She's gone. Your new identity is already being arranged. When it's done, we'll take you out of New Orleans. You've been erased. You don't exist. You're a ghost. But you'll be safe. When do I get to see her? Not till after the trial. You just sit tight. Hang on to yourself. The case just bled out all over the street. There was a hit out on Jeremy. A federal agent Jeremy was shot. Carlin? Jeremy's off the grid. What federal agent was shot? That's all the information I have. Who are you talking to? The marshal's in charge. All right, get me on the phone with him right now. Lieutenant Seller, with all due respect, this water's a fair bit deeper than what you're used to. You're absolutely right. I'm just a small town cop. So if you could help me and pick out some small words and explain to me exactly how you're going to protect this guy. Well, you know I can't provide you with any detail. Just tell me what kind of protection you have. Well, the full weight and resources of the United States Marshal Service is being brought to bear. Yes, I can almost feel it right now. How about this? Why don't you just give me the boy? All right, he can sleep on my couch. I got cold beer. In the fridge, I have ESPN on the TV. I have a 9mm Beretta. I have a Ruger Security 6 357 Magnum. A Remington 86 Tactical Shotgun. So you tell Hagen's men if they want to get this boy, they're going to have to go through me. Do you understand that, you third grade motherfuckers? Lieutenant, I realize how much this case means to you. How's he doing? Well, he's better than I expected. He's a tough kid. I want you to tell him something for me, please. I want you to tell him that I said I'm sorry. Did you hear that? Tell him I said I'm sorry. You should tell him you're sorry, too. Sorry to take up so much of your time, Marshal. I know that the federal government really doesn't...
and she dials this number late at night. You talk for hours. See now, you and I. He never got to talk. You know, just us. Yeah, that's a shame. I'm guessing you're with the police. I can talk to you in an honest way. See, in a way they can't. So let's just... Let's just talk. Just us talk. All right. It's so simple. Don't testify. And this all will be over with. No, it'll be over once you're sentenced. You, you, got, you got that all wrong, see, Jeremy? See, I go to prison, and I keep running my crew. I want to keep a contract out on you and your girlfriend for as long as it takes. And this won't be over until the both of you are dead. Now, now that can happen anywhere. Yeah. Let me see. How about Monticello, Indiana, at the lake house, where your girl's family has Reunions, you know, I think next one's in July. I can't wait to go to that one. Hey, when the two of you getting married? I bet that's gonna be a special day, huh? You're gonna invite all your five and friends. Craig, Adam, Trey, Carlos. Now, how about a couple of my guys? Or maybe I'll just wait. You know, maybe I'll just wait for years. Till you and your girl, you got some kids of your own. And my man. But they'll come and kill them while you watch. You see, what you don't understand, Jeremy, is. Prison time ain't nothing but time. Now you want to live the rest of your life knowing that one day, one day, son, I will find you. You're not going to touch her. I'll kill you before I let that happen. Oh. <laughs> Look. Testify, don't testify. You're both dead anyway. That's just for talking back. No, you listen to me, you son of a bitch. You're dead. <laughs> You're fucking dead. You tell me exactly how someone like you is gonna kill me. Because I'm a ghost. I don't exist. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna disappear. Nobody will ever know. To hell with witness protection. You're gonna need protection from me. <laughs> oh shit. I will need protection from you.
is truly horrifying. Thank God Mr. Coleman survived these hideous acts of random violence. How do you say that shit with a straight face? Your Honor. The police are executing search warrants right now on Hagen and all of his people. I'm confident those warrants will prove fruitless. Come on, physical proof or not, basic common sense says that Hagen needs to be locked up. Your Honor, I'm asking you to revoke that bail order. Your Honor, may I speak plainly? If there was someone out there operating independently of my client, attempting to bring harm to Mr. Coleman, incarcerating my client will do nothing to prevent that. In the absence of actual evidence of any sort, all you'd be doing, with due respect, Your Honor, is demonstrating extreme prejudice and providing me with grounds for appeal of any future conviction, not to mention grounds for complete dismissal. Now, in regards to that, <laughs> I welcome such an action. I mean, by all means, lock him up. For a second? Say so you in the wrong neighborhood, cuz. I'm not looking for trouble. Nah, fuck that, man. Gotta get you a hat that says undercover cop. I'm not a cop. You better not be, motherfucker. Cause you fucking suck at it. Keep on walking, cuz. You gonna scare off my customers and shit. I am a customer. I want a gun. Gun store, homie. I want a gun that can't be traced. Look here, cuz. We don't sell still to white boys. Look, I'm not looking for any- oh, Jesus! God! Oh. See what the fuck you did? I'm trying to tell your ass. Now you done fuck with the muscle. Put your teeth on the curb, man. Hey, cuz. Let me American Hicks exit boy. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> this ain't not a confidence! Shut the fuck up. Oh, I need the gun to kill David Hagen. I want to kill David Hagen. Oh. Don't fuck with me, boy. Let's take a ride, cuz. You want to break your ass up? Oh. 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 No, food, not the back seat. Get your ass in the trunk. I'm riding the back fucking seat. Now, let's get to this motherfucking truck. Put this on. You'll get there safe. Just in the dark. Welcome to the east side. Yeah. Why ain't you up in Bisbee Gnomes? From the, the country club? I ain't from Bisbee Gnomes. Well, you sure as fuck ain't from here either. So we got a white boy who wants to smoke Hagen. Ain't this a bitch? It's a long story, but it's him or me. And who are you? Nobody, cuz. That's right. Nobody. Literally nobody. But if I do pull this off, Hagen will be gone, and you guys can take the credit. I know that he's competition for you. I could be doing you guys a favor. Stone cold business. Man, fuck this shit, man. He wasting your fucking time, nigga. Let us take him out the back, cuz. Trust me. Nah. He's a customer. Come on. What a selection. Now, what you're trying to do, man, you're going to need some motherfucking weight. Trust me. The Glock 21. The Glock 21? Yeah. <laughs> you heard this white motherfucker. Glock 21, all this, man. You could have got that shit from Kmart, man. On aisle one next to the Pampers. Man, look at this motherfucking tape. Look at this shit, man. We got 
AK-47 is on here, dog. Oh, how to shoot the AK-47? Man, check this shit out, man. You trying to beat a motherfucking Grim Reaper and shit? You're going to have to get Grim. I learned how to shoot on this gun. Fuck that. And I learned man. how to fuck on this dumb bitch at the rec center. Her grill all fucked up. Teeth sideways, throwing gang side. This shit is hanging in my house. Man, I'm already banging that shit, man. But then I upgraded. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shut the fuck up. Enough of that shit, all right? Be traced? No, it can't be motherfucking traced. Shit ain't even been fired. That serial number's been filed out. That's Virgin Steel. Hey, look. Are you wondering if I think you can kill Hagen? I don't know what the fuck you can do. But I think you can be trouble. You can occupy some of his time. Even if it's only 30 minutes when you're going somewhere to drop off your body. 500 for the piece, man. Bullets on the house. Give it to him. Jeremy? Yeah, I didn't feel you'd answer this phone. <sighs> I wasn't supposed to, but I knew you'd call. How are you? A little woozy, a little tired, but I'm fine. I'm just sad I missed all your heroics. Uh, it's all right. Don't give me a chance to exaggerate it later. Jeremy, you have to come back in. Hey, I know the things got bad, but you can't be out there on your own. So wherever it is that you are, please just go to a police station and tell them to call the marshals. Okay? You're not safe. But you are safe. It's the only thing that matters to me. Whatever happens, I want you to know that. Please don't do this to me. Jeremy. I love you. Get rid of this phone. I'm not gonna call you again. Not Jeremy. Talk to him tomorrow. He's working at the Abyss boat. Right there. Hands up! Jeremy fucking Coleman. You throw it away. Throw your fucking gun. Calm down. Calm yourself down. Around the corner. What? Get around the fucking corner! It's gathers. Hold on. All right, I'll let you later. What's up? He wants to talk about your plea bargain. Oh, he does. 
Let's go run an errand. Run the fucking corner. It's a fucking big mistake. Shut the fuck up and get against the wall. <sighs> All right, sit down. Back against the wall. I know what. We're gonna kill Hagen. Is that so? That's right. What's a bispo? Who's gonna be there? Throw me your phone. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a boxer. I worked and worked, but then I realized it wasn't gonna happen because I didn't have it in me. Well, you tell me how to get to Hagen. And now you wanna be some badass assassin. You haven't got it in you. Dude, I will shoot you in the fucking knee. If you don't tell me how to get to Hagen, do you understand me? Henry Cooper had 4% body fat. Now, do I look like I've got 4% body fat? No. And you ain't gonna pull that fucking trigger. Vengeance will be his through his brothers. Still there. Throw your weapons out! If you're hurt, I can help you! But you gotta throw out your weapons! George, please tell me that's not a dead guy. It's a dead guy. 
fucking kidding me? It's a terrible tragedy, huh? It's a fucked up weekend is what it is. Fuck. Who is this? Looks like he got jumped and his buddies in the SUV down there. They uh, came right to the rescue, but I'm pretty sure it didn't work out. What is this shit carved in his face? It's EC, Eastside Crips. This is gang retaliation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what do you got? Hey, Lieutenant. Hey, what's up? Uh, I thought you should see this. What is it? Partial print. It's not much, but I think we can get a hit off of it. All right, make this in the lab. Get the results back to me. Only me. Only you. Thanks, Paul. Hello? Lieutenant Stiller. Who's this? I think it's time we met. Face to face. No, no, I'm heading to the hospital before my shift. Uh, yeah, look, I'll, I'll, I'll see you there. No questions. Just listen to me. I need you to do exactly what I tell you to do, okay? Okay, yeah. I need you to let everybody know that they gotta be very careful right now. Nobody stays at their place. Call the police department and say that threats have been made against the firehouse. Get a police detail, not only on the station, but on all your runs. You kidding me? You know it's not that easy. You gotta just, just do it. Okay? Just fucking do it. And don't tell anybody that you've seen me. Nobody. Not the guys. Not Maria. Nobody. I can't see fucking Craig and he's sitting in the fucking hospital. Is he gonna be okay? Have they heard? I don't know, man. It's not looking good. Jeremy, talk to me, dude. What are you doing? There's no questions, please. So how's Maria? Is she good? You met somebody. Yeah. I just hope to God you guys get a chance to meet her someday. I need you to do me a favor. All my fire gear is over at the firehouse. Before your shift, I need you to go drop my duffel bag off over in the park behind those benches, okay? Oh, and one more thing. If you don't hear from me in the next few days, I need you to take this. All right, there's a letter next to the bed. Take it to the U.S. Marshal Service, all right? They'll know how to get it to her. Who is she? Just, just do it for me.
us up. So, uh, I ran that print. It came back with a hit. It's in the system, this person. The only problem is it's coming back with no ID. No name? No. no nothing. I mean, I figured it, it must have been in there, but for some reason, it got taken out. You ever heard of that? No. Thank you. Mike Seller. Lieutenant? Yeah, I need to put on an APB on a suspect. Go ahead with your description. Lieutenant? I'm gonna have to call you back. Sir? No, no, I don't have the right information yet. This is Talia Durham, badge 4382. I need an override and a blocked number incoming to my old cell last night around 12. Area code 562, that's it's Long Beach, California, right? Uh, it's a cell. Great. Th thank you. I need a cab to the airport. No, right now. Thank you. Welcome to the party, motherfucker! God damn! Junior Miko! Hagen's gonna love me, I'm bringing you back alive! Hell, he just might make me employee the motherfucking week! What? You want that? Do you want this gun? Huh? Is this what you want? You ain't getting it, motherfucker! You in my house now, you hear me? You don't bring no gun to my fucking party! Who you think you are coming in here? Act like you own this fucking place. I'm gonna stick his gun right up your ass. Ugh. Ah, god damn it! Ah! Ah! Oh my fucking leg! Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Get the crawl, ah. son of a bitch. Wait here. Sit right there. Call me at about time. I'm about to kill some Crips. I put a trace on the Marshal's credit card. Nothing since New Orleans. Today she bought a last minute plane ticket. I'm already here in Long Beach. There's only one reason she'd leave protection and come here. He's here. <laughs> I 
need you to tell me how to get to Hagen. Where does he go? When is he alone? Blood in, blood out. What is that supposed to mean? To get in with Hagen, you gotta kill somebody. Blood in. Once you're in, the only way out's if you're dead. Blood out. So fuck you! Mr. Hagen, your men were killed by Jeremy Coleman. Well, it looks like I misjudged him. It's a good thing. He's come right to us. I didn't want to have to do this. <laughs> you have any idea who you're fucking with? Huh? Yeah, I read your rap sheet. All the things you've done, all the people you've done them to. It's gonna make this part a little bit easier. Let me the fuck up out of here! I guess you didn't do your job. I guess I will. I'm gonna hunt him down. How will you hunt him down? Let's take out his house. He doesn't live anywhere. Storm his office. He doesn't work anywhere. You have no point of access. I'm gonna take your fingers off. You ain't got the balls. Love will make you do some fucked up things. Look, I just want to know one thing. You gonna earn your money? Jeremy's a ghost, but so am I. Just tell me! Fuck you, she's gonna die slow! God, no! God damn it! I'll fucking tell you! I'll find him. Until then, I'd watch your back. Fuck you, talk! Gathers. Gathers keeps the list. You get the gathers, that's how you get the fucking Hagen. Now come in the fuck loose, man! I told you what you wanted to know! Let out. Yeah. Mike Sella. This is Tali Durham. I just got your email. Can you talk? You bet. I was trying to figure out a gang war. It doesn't look like either side started it. Do you have any evidence that's leading you in another direction? Marshal, we should be careful what we talk about on the phone. Have you told anyone? No. Jeremy told me what happened to your partner. I'm sorry. Listen, I want him dead and buried as much as you do, but I'm still a cop. You understand that? I came to stop what's happening. You can stop it, Marshal? As soon as I can find him, yeah. You have until 6 o'clock. After that, he goes out on NCIC as a suspect. Thanks, Lieutenant. Detective Stella, she got off of CSU. They found more blood in the alley from the other night. Might be for more our purpose. But, but you didn't get a match from CODIS. Yeah, that's right. Keep trying. Call me if you get something. Mr. Coleman, just stay right there. Don't move. I'm just guessing, but I think the fire department's probably not on its way, yeah? I turned off the call signal. Ah. Huh. You know, I don't know who's worse. A man who kills his son in front of his own father? Or a man who gets paid to make sure that he gets to kill some more. 
Just for the record, I never wanted to become the man that you think I am. I happen to believe in this adversarial system of justice of ours. I happen to believe in it with my whole heart. Prosecutor and defendant go at it. Best advocate wins. It's an excellent system. Just leads to a bizarre world sometimes where someone like me, reputable and legitimate, finds himself fighting on behalf of the worst scum of the earth like David Hagen. Why do you represent him? Why do I represent him? I drop a man like David Hagen, and he kills me, and then he kills my whole family, and then he kills my dog, just for the heck of it! I didn't come here to harm you. I never wanted to kill anybody. Even Hagen. But I cannot let him take the lives of the people that I love. Do you understand that? What are you gonna do? Huh? How are you gonna get to him? He's got a whole army around him at all times. Well, I got to you, didn't I? Look, I've come this far. I can finish this. Just tell me where he's gonna be. I know where he goes some night. Tonight. I bet you're wishing you hadn't come alone. That's not what I wish. I'm gonna tell you why I brought you here. It's cause I'm confused. And I'm wondering why you didn't do anything about those friends I lost. That's one of the seven deadly sins. Sloth. Failure to utilize your talents and gifts. News says it's looking like homicide. Yeah, it was homicide. I just haven't gotten around to it. I've been a little busy with the trial. Oh. You heard from your witness? Yeah. Looks like he's been a little busy, too. I'll tell you what. We ought to skip the trial. Save some time. Kill me. Come on. I won't blame you. Every man's got his dark side. Just shoot me. Come on. What's the matter? Your gun broke? No. It works just fine. Just this. You see, there ain't enough of that going around for the white man. Yes. Not enough of that going around for murderers either. I'm gonna kill that boy. Run around. Bleed him out like a sow. I lost a lot of good people. And that hurts me, it does, it really does. You know what that's like, cause as I recall, you you lost some good people too, some friends. I've been told. Yeah. Close friends. You're not gonna kill anyone else.
crybaby. Come on. <laughs> get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, yes, get up, go. approached you recently about Jeremy Coleman? Look, it'd, it'd be weird if I had heard from him, right? It happens. Witnesses get distraught. They make mistakes. I keep them safe from everyone, including themselves. You know Jeremy lost his folks when he was young? That was one of the things he loved about this job. Now it feels like a family. But I worry about him, you know, because even though this feels like a family, it's not, really. And you gotta have more in your life. Look, if he, if he did find someone that he really cared about, I think he can do anything for her. Things that might even be hard to accept. Where is he, Adam? Look, if I do hear from him, do you, uh, you have a card or something? Yeah, I do. And normally I would give you one and tell you to call our field office, but I'm not here officially. I'm trying to keep this off the books. And I have until the end of the day, and then no one can help him. You wrote this in case you died. And when I read it, I thought you already had. So now I know exactly how it feels. Look, I had to do this. Now you have to stop. Hagen will never stop, do you hear me? He's never gonna stop. He's gonna keep coming for you and for me and your family. For my best friend in the world is in the hospital right now. Hey, look at me. some awful things the last couple of days, but you're worth it. Do you understand me? Please know that it's you. Lieutenant Sella, he figured it out. And if I don't get you out of Long Beach by 6 p.m., he's gonna put your face on the wire. I let you in. We can't go back to Milwaukee. We can have a life together, but we're... I can finish the house. Finish this the house. isn't you. Please tell me this isn't you.
yourself. It's quitting time. You should go home. You really think so, Jeremy? I think it's quitting time. Just one more night. All right? Let it play out. Kid, you left a fingerprint. Lieutenant, if I don't finish this, she'll never be safe. They found a fingerprint. Do you understand what that means? That means they're gonna find more forensic evidence. They're gonna put you away. You can't do this by yourself. Yes, I can. I have no choice. What the hell am I supposed to do? Just let it happen? You have reached the voicemail for Lieutenant Michael Sella, Gang and Narcotics Division. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, I'm coming to you. I'll be at your office as soon as I can find a cat. No! <laughs> What you have to do, but tonight David Haggett is going in the ground. Wait, wait. I'm over here. Location 1124 Oxholm Street. Hey, do me a favor and leave your phone on. I want to hear this. Jeremy. Jeremy! Oh. Listen, boy, you should not want what you cannot have. Oh,
I'm strong enough to pull it off. But your girl can tell you she's gonna die. Trust me. Do everything that I ask and I promise we'll survive this. Do you trust me? See you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. 